leads to a call for action. Her daughter was hit by a car and killed while crossing a busy road after school. Since then, the Katusa mom has circulated a petition for improved safety along the road where her daughter was killed. As News on 6 anchor Craig Day shows us, the Katusa City Council took the first step tonight in addressing those concerns. Where's the school speed zone? Leona Harper is among a handful of people at the Katusa City Council meeting. She's here for her daughter. She was hit by a car and died. In February, Harper's 12-year-old daughter, Kristen, was killed while crossing Cherokee Street after school. It's a busy road. It's not safe. When you lose a child, there are so many things a parent misses. Everything. Hearing her brother and her fight. Things often taken for granted that you'd give anything to hear again. Her singing. Since her daughter's death, Harper has circulated petitions calling for improved safety measures along the road near the middle and high schools. Simple, simple things. School zone speed limits, crosswalks, stoplights. That's why she's here at the council meeting, hoping for good news. I don't want nobody else to die the way she did. The city is taking steps to improve safety. Catusa was awarded a $220,000 federal Safe Routes to Schools grant. Most of it will be used for things like sidewalks and signal lights. 20,000 for safety programs for students. At the meeting, the council approved an agreement for a group to administer the grant. But Harper wants more immediate action. Do everything that I asked them to do on a petition. I don't think that I asked too much. City leaders say with all of the required hurdles attached to federal money, public meetings, competitive bidding, discussions with property owners, the latest development is a good first step in the process. But for Harper, it's hard to wait any longer. I'm going to keep coming right back until they do what they have to do. And again, the city says with all the bidding, the discussions with property owners, all the strings attached to grant money, it just takes time. And Jennifer, the mayor says if all goes according to plan, those safety measures could be implemented and put in place by this time next year. Sounds like it's going to happen. It'll pay off eventually. All right. Thank you very much, Craig. You bet.